வெல்கம் இன் திஸ் செக்ஷன் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் லக்ஷண தோஷாஸ் த ஃபேலசிஸ் ஆஃப் எ டெஃபனிஷன் லக்ஷண தோஷா ஆர் fallacies of definition the entity that is to be defined is called lakshya all entities other than lakshya is called alakshya the function of a definition or a function of lakshana is to differentiate lakshya and alakshya definition is a statement it states the characteristic feature of lakshya called asadharana dharma and this characteristic feature helps us to differentiate lakshya and alakshya so definition is a statement that states the characteristic feature or asadharana dharma that helps us to differentiate lakshya and alakshya at some times a stated definition may not be true such a definition is called dushta lakshana a false definition dushta lakshana a false definition on the other hand a definition which is true is called nirdushta lakshana a true definition a false definition is dushta lakshana and a true definition is nirdushta lakshana to be a true definition is the definition must have three essential features the definition is a statement that state the characteristic features so the first condition is the lakshya must have that character stated by the definition the lakshya must have the character stated by the definition the second all the members all the members must have the character stated in the definition and third one the alakshya must not have the character stated by the definition first one the lakshya must have the character stated by the definition second one all the members must have the character stated by the definition and third one the alakshya must not have that character stated by the definition a definition having all these characters is called a true definition or a nirdushta lakshana if a definition violates any of these conditions it will become a false definition or a dushta lakshana accordingly there are three kinds of fallacies of definition or lakshana doshas lakshana dosha these are the three essential features or essential conditions accordingly there are three kinds of lakshana doshas they are avyapti ati vyapti and asambhav these are the three essential features of a nirdushta lakshana or a true definition first one the lakshya must have the character stated by the definition second 
all the members of alexia must have the character stated by the definition and third on the alexia must not have that character stated by the definition accordingly there are three kinds of doshas or fallacies of definition they are avyapti ativyapti and asambhav avyapti ativyapti and asambhav now let us explain with the help of a simple example suppose cow is our lakshya so elephant horse zebra pen pencil house car all these are alakshyas suppose i define cow as a large animal it is not a true definition because elephant is a large animal giraffe is also a large animal buffalo is a large animal ox is also a large animal so the alexia also have this character so it is not a true definition such a definition is called ati vyapti ati vyapti to be a true definition the alexia must not have the character stated in the definition here the alexia elephant horse zebra buffalo all these animals have this character they are also large animals so such a fallacy is called ativyapti in this condition the character mentioned stated by the definition extends beyond the lakshya to alakshya the character stated by the definition extends beyond lakshya to alakshya such a false definition is called ativyapti if i say a large bird this is also not true because this character is not present in our lakshya such a definition is called faulty definition is called asambhav if i define cow as it is a large bird this character is not present in the lakshya such a false definition is called asambhav here the character stated by the definition is not present in the lakshya means the lakshya does not have that character stated by the definition such a false definition is called asambhav if i say a brown animal is a brownie animal this is also not true because this character is not present in all the members of cow because there are various colors of cow brown color cow is there white cow is there polka dotted cow is also there so this character some members of the lakshya have this character not all the members of this lakshya do, do not have this character because according to this definition only brown color cow has this character white cow it is a lakshya it does not have this character a polka dotted cow it does not have this character such a definition is called such a definition is called avyapti here all the members of lakshya do not have the character stated in the definition such a fallacy is called avyapti so these are the three kinds of fallacies of definition or lakshana dosha avyapti ativyapti and asambhava
these are the three kinds of fallacies of definition avyapti ativyapti and asambhav avyapti ativyapti and asambhav to be a true definition the lakshya must have the character stated by the definition and all the members of lakshya must have the character stated by the definition and the alakshya must not have that character stated by the definition if only some members of the lakshya have the character stated by the definition then it is called avyapti means not all the members have that character only some members have that character stated by the definition then that dosha is called avyapti second one is ativyapti to be a true definition the alakshya must not have that character stated in the definition in ativyapti the characters stated by the definition extends to alakshya means in ativyapti the alakshya also some of the alakshyas also have the character stated by the definition to be a true definition the lakshya must have the character stated by the definition in asambhava if the character if the lakshya does not have the character stated by the definition then it is called asambhava when the lakshya does not have the character stated by the definition it is not asambhava when all the members of the lakshya do not have the character stated by the definition then avyapti when all the members of lakshya and some members of the alakshya have the character stated in the definition then it is known known as ativyapti these are the three kinds of uh, lakshana doshas avyapti ativyapti and asambhava when the lakshya does not have the character stated by the definition it is not it is called asambhava when only some members of the lakshya have the character stated in the definition it is known as avyapti when the members of the lakshya and some members of the alakshya have that character stated by the definition then it is called ativyapti so these are the three kinds of lakshana doshas a definition which is devoid of all three all these three kinds of fallacies is called a nirdushta lakshana or a true definition a definition which is devoid of all the three kinds of lakshana doshas fallacies of definition that is avyapti ativyapti and asambhava it is called a nirdushta lakshana a definition which is devoid of avyapti ativyapti and asambhava is called a nirdushta lakshana in the next section we will discuss in detail about avyapti ativyapti and asambhava till then bye take care